<laughs> Everybody's in Thara. You may remember hey, him for such things as reviewing lamps and other shenanigans. No. And 3D printing yeah. robo mats, and then selling them, and then removing the plastic supports that are inside of them, so that you know they actually print properly. Um, how are you doing, Lewis? Things could be better, but they could also be a lot worse. Yeah, I know that feeling right now. Um, don't worry, everybody. Tara's fine. She's uh, she's just out of town this week, so uh, Linkara was kind enough to step in. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much for that. Gonna have fun with the audio editing later. <laughs> oh, cause uh yeah, it's it's it has been a weird week. Not just for us, it was just like the I had to touch on it a little bit this week. The whole thing with Christy Gnome. What the hell? Look, look, look. She totally didn't murder her dog, but she. But if she did, it was totally for humane reasons. And also, here are some other dogs that should die. Right? Like, in case for posterity, if you're wondering what we're talking about, uh, the governor of, what is it, North Dakota? South Dakota? I can't them? remember off the top of my head. One of those square ones over there. Um, the governor, in trying to, to brush up her VP nomination credentials for, for Donald Trump, wrote a memoir called No Going Back. And uh, in it, she she happily described um, a dog she owned, which she states she hated, 14 months old. And um, because it was unruly and attacked and killed some of her neighbor's chickens, instead of, oh, I don't know, putting it in the car and taking it to a shelter and saying, I can't handle this animal, she led it into a gravel quarry where a construction crew watched her shoot a puppy in the head. Yep. And she put this in a book and she's proud of it. Now, I don't know if you've heard, but dogs are very, very important to a lot of people. In fact, to the point where some would say they like dogs more than people. And to be fair, dogs are a lot more likable than a lot of people. Including a lot more likable than Christy Noem. It's like now it's it's like dogs, mom, apple pie. Now she has made it even worse now because she's changed her story once or twice. Like at first she just didn't want it, but then she's like, oh no, the, the dog was um violent. No, no shelter would take it, you know, kind of thing. But then there are places that could do it humanely. Mm -hmm. Right. But then to make matters worse. She, I think it was just today, she she apparently said that the president's dog should be shot. Yeah. Yeah, the commander. Which which does not, you know, paint a rosy picture of this woman as anything but someone who really hates dogs and wants them all to die. And also, she made up completely out of nowhere this anecdote of her going to North Korea and meeting with Kim Jong-un somehow. To the point that she had to withdraw it. The publishers, they're putting out a new edition without the, the anecdote. And she's like, oh, maybe it was a mistake. But she read it for her own audiobook. She read it out loud. She just freaking. So instead of no going back, the title is now some going back. Each week. Yeah, from the uh, Radio Dead Air. Audience go off the worldwide interwebs. Find all sorts of horrible stuff. Bring back here for some little segment we like to call what the fuck is wrong with you? And Lewis, Lucara, my friend. Crazy. Um, I'm you know that Simpsons meme with uh, with Bart? It's so like lonely. everybody in the class is looking at him and like, say the line. I I I I could not have just done this better. I could not have done this better, man. This this is just this is life. Quite literally, the stars aligned. S say the line <laughs> please my god of course yes um so toddler told her mom that monsters were in her closet but in fact there were more than 50,000 bees there 
Mother of three children under four years old was met with a terrifying surprise after she and her husband investigated why a handful of bees had flown into the attic of the couple's North Carolina home. After visiting a pest control company and multiple beekeepers, a thermal camera finally revealed where the bees had gone. Keep in mind, a thermal camera was able to detect them. Bees. Uh, a massive hive they had built inside the wall of her daughter's Dreams room. Of bees. What? Dreams of bees. How they describe it. It's how they describe it. Streams of bees. <laughs> Where the girl was convinced she heard a monster and some kind of lurking. This is I one mean, of the... Go ahead. Go, no, you go ahead. This is one of those moments in life that, like, like foundational. One of those was touchstone moments. Um, that you'd be like, hey, hey, dad, remember when I was like four and I told you there were monsters in the wall? Or you said there weren't. And you tried to pretend like I was just hearing shit. You remember that? This is the shit you tell your psychologist when you, when you get like an adult. Look, a few years ago, I, I knew that there was this problem that the bee population was going down. Yeah. But I didn't think the solution to that was inviting the bees into her home. <laughs> well, it, it, it's it's crazy. They all they did was they found a hole about the size of a quarter, just a hole in the wall in the attic Where about the size of a quarter. Is? That was you really want to know Providence. You really want to know Providence right here. One of the Robomats I'm printing is a custom one. <laughs> Oh, oh it, it, this just just to make this worse. In addition to the work to remove the bees, there will also be repairs to their home. The bees and their oozing honey caused about $20,000 worth of damage to electrical wires, which the family's homeowners insurance will not cover. I mean, there's probably not a bee clause in there, but at the same time... <laughs> Of course, insurance is not going to cover it because insurance companies are awful. We are farmers. Bum, 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 bum. Nope. Uh, it's just like, like a good neighbor, they're they're going away from the bees. Yeah, we we don't we 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 don't we don't cover bees, man. It's in the it's the, we don't cover that. Oh. So it's like, just like just trying to think like uh uh. You know, technically, you know, I, you know, bees are an, are are an important part of our ecosystem. It's why yeah. we were worried about the bee population going down. But when you, there are fifty thousand of them, I think that she rightfully can say there were monsters in my closet. Uh, they removed tens of thousands of bees and a honeycomb weighing more than a hundred pounds. Now, the good news is the bees are fine. They have a process where they take a vacuum cleaner and they suck the I'm not I'm not kidding. They get this, this is a special vacuum cleaner. They suck the bees out of the walls. And Which they're is good. Mind you, I think you might have had to swap the bags a few times. They're, <laughs> they're taking them to a refuge. So the bees are fine. Everybody's fine. It's just this is this is psychologically scarring. From now on, now, now on, whenever one of your kids says there's a monster in the closet, you're going to take that a little more seriously. Well, you should be taking it seriously anyway. Just, just you know, being being non uh, not not mm. funny for a second here. If a child is terrified of something yeah. and, and you show and you demonstrate trust, you want you want them to trust you. So so that when something uh, something legitimately bad is happening. Mm -hmm. They, they feel open to telling you. And you never know, maybe there are 50,000 bees in the closet. And they're trying to warn you about it. <sighs> well, we got, we've got more fun with nature this week. Um, I say fun with nature. This is from Yellowstone. Um, I forgot who on, uh, on, on Twitter responded that uh, you should not pet the fuzzy cows. Um. Man injured after kicking bison in the leg under influence of alcohol at Yellowstone. It was not the bison under influence of alcohol. What are we clear about that? I mean, I feel like it'd be a very different story if it was the yeah. bison that was, yeah. that was drunk. 40-year-old man who allegedly kicked a bison in the leg while under the influence of alcohol was injured by the animal and arrested. He's fine. 
Clarence Yoder, a 40-year-old man from Idaho Falls, Idaho, approached, approached a bison in Yellowstone National Park and was injured by the animal. Um, the rangers responded to the area and received a report of an individual who harassed a herd of bison and kicked a bison in the leg. They located the suspect's uh, vehicle, blah, blah, blah. Yoder was arrested and charged with being under the influence of alcohol to agree may, that may endanger oneself. Disorderly conduct to create or maintain a hazardous condition, approaching wildlife and disturbing wildlife. And the thing about, I don't know how many people, if you've never seen a bison in person or a buffalo in person. I, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm Googling it right now. It's a buffalo. Oh, yeah. Oh, my. Yeah, the buffalo <laughs> are gone. Bison are similar. The, the best way I can describe it is think of a cow and then think of a cow going super saiyan. And that is a bison. They are so here. Hey, yeah, sorry. Go ahead. Oh no, we have them here nearby. Uh, there, there's a um, area that has. It's kind of like a zoo. It's animals that were like um, native to the area, and they have bison there. They are twice as tall as a cow, so they are twice as high, and the heads. Yeah, I looked it, I, I looked it up after uh, when I when I, when, I, when, I, when I thought about this. It's like. How tall is a bison? A bison can reach up to 12 and a half feet tall. So I tried to have feet in length, nine feet tall occasionally. These things are big. They're and this guy, it, this is the dangers of alcohol. Because he, he this this guy got drunk, looked at a bison, you know, about as tall as, as the ceiling in my office. And he said, take that. <laughs> I, you, 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 I can take you. You're not better than me. I can fight you. You think you can graze? I'm going to show you grazing. I could not imagine trying to get into a fight with something that has a head the size of my torso. And has horns, too, at that. Oh, God. Those things, like, I don't think people appreciate. They're not just decoration to go on a car. Okay? Those things take down predators. It's, it's, it's. They, they are designed to make you say no. No, nope. honestly, kind of, kind of surprised that the kick didn't like you know you know, put a hole in him. Right, like that's the other thing they have all that weight, all that muscle they they built up in trying to move around something that big. Yeah, this ain't fat. This is muscle on these things. And yeah, what are you drinking that makes you think you are standing up to a fucking bison? You think you're better than me? This is, I, you're getting you're in an argument with a super cow. <laughs> what has happened to your life? Argument with a super cow. That, there's your title for this one. <laughs> it just it, he's fine. Incidentally, I wouldn't be doing the story if he was seriously injured. But of course, lucky as hell because there are other stories like this that I don't do because people died. People yeah. straight up are not here anymore because the bison said they weren't going to be. He gets to make that decision because it's a bison. Yoder was arrested and charged with being under the influence of alcohol to a degree that may endanger oneself. Yeah, that, that sounds about right. Disorderly conduct, conduct as to create or maintain a hazardous condition approaching wildlife and disturbing wildlife. Did the the bison gets to decide who stays and who goes. That's it. That's the law. This is the bi This is bison country. All right. Next up, I am. I I'm trying to figure out the logistics of this. I even did some googling to see how big these things are these days, how small they've gotten, because I was trying to work out in my head how this could have been possible. Uh, Karna uh, Karna Karnataka, Karnataka? Karnataka prisoner swallows mobile phone during raid of jail cell, goes under knife to take it out after 20 days. Incident happened around the first week of April. Soon, um, a uh, Parashuram 38, yeah, Parashuram 38, uh, murder convict serving life imprisonment, uh, had another idea. To get rid of his smuggled in mobile phone, he simply swallowed it. 
Um, soon after, he started complaining of stomach pain, but did not reveal the reason. They took him to the teaching hospital. Uh, the doctors at Victoria Hospital conducted an ultrasound scan and found a foreign object in his stomach. Uh, it was only by the end of the 75-minute procedure they figured out the reason for his stomach pain. A keypad mobile phone stuck in his pylorus, the cone shaped construction in the gastrointestinal tract that demarcates the end of the stomach and the beginning of the small intestine. He had turned it into a cork. He had essentially corked up the bottom of his stomach. He just went stuck in there. Uh, so like, so this is my Google Pixel 4a. Right. Now, obviously, it's, they, they make phones smaller than this. Oh, yeah. So I'm just trying to think how small this phone would have to be in order to, like, very quickly swallow that. Uh, yeah, it, uh, it's so small that it passed through the throat and esophagus. We thought it could be excreted. Even uh, Parashikram thought it might have thought the same when he swallowed it. However, the device was stuck. Now, here's the thing. I can just imagine during the surgery, there's like a doctor over here calling the phone, trying to find the shit. <laughs> Hold on, hold on. It's over here. I hear it. I hear it. Keep calling. Oh, the battery run out? Crap. I I just Oh no, I actually ordered some things. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about I'm you, but like... have you ever like got given like texted one of these things for a contest or something and suddenly the company has your text number and they just keep texting you? It's like, this guy's like, oh, crap, why did I text but Pizza Hut? Oh, God. God damn a notification. <laughs> this is not the rumble in my stomach I wanted. <laughs> God, you remember ringtones? That would have been hilarious. I'm, I'm, not th I'm not thinking of llamas with hats. My tummy was making the rumblies. <laughs> that only phones can satisfy <laughs> Uh, they got it out of him. He's going to be okay. Lucky son of just. Why was that? the? No, I got to give him credit because typically the other option is the other end. That's what prisoners normally go straight for. It's not, oh no, I'm going to get this through me. I feel like the other option is a better option in this case because it will, because because of it's a longer process to get it back out again. <laughs> <laughs> oh i just i'm that that just does that would never occur to me i have never been like oh i gotta put this somewhere I gotta put, i've never been like oh. never i got over that when i was about four man i i just watched the great escape re again recently <laughs> And I'm trying to think, it's like, okay, what sort of contraption can we build to hide our phone? Oh. <laughs> I think stomach would be... We can't, we can't hide it, we can't eat it. <laughs> or can, can we? we? Uh, all right, next up, we've had colleges in the news, whole bunch of protests, it's been, it's been a thing. Well... They also, not only are they doing stupid things politically, they're doing stupid things as part of the commencement. This one just, I don't know how this happened, and that's part of the story. Who who thought, who, it, mm. uh, Ohio State Speaker says he took psychedelic drugs to write Bitcoin commencement speech. The person selected to speak at Ohio State University's commencement ceremony for its spring graduates hasn't minced details on how he made the controversial script. Days before the Sunday ceremony, OSU's chosen speaker, Chris Pan, announced on LinkedIn he had taken the psychedelic drug Ayahuasca, I think Ay Ayahuasca, Ayahuasca, I yeah, uh, to write his first drafts. Got some help from AI, Ayahuasca Intelligence this week to write my commencement speech for 60,000 graduates and family members at Ohio State University. Tried chat GPT, 
but wasn't that good. The resulting speech and onstage demonstration with OSU President Ted Carter drew audible booing from the audience uh, as Pan tried to encourage graduates and attendees to buy cryptocurrency. Saving is not enough because inflation exploded after the pandemic, which is why everything got so expensive. I see Bitcoin as a very misunderstood asset class. It is decentralized and finite, which means no government can print more at will. Yeah, you can't buy anything with it, though. No. Can I go to Walmart and buy my groceries? I can't. So shut the fuck up. Um, it was also part of Pan's pitch for investing, which he said was prevented by internal factors rather than external like student debt or market considerations. Quote, the mechanics of investing are actually easy, but it comes down to mindset, Pan said. The most common barriers are fear, laziness, and closed-mindedness. Ohio State spokesperson Ben Johnson declined to comment on Pan's mention of Bitcoin. Clarified the university does not approve its does not approve its chosen speakers' speeches before the ceremony. When asked about Pan's comments about using psychedelic drugs to create speech, Johnson said staff viewed his draft versions. <sighs> this guy. Uh, this guy. OSU's online profile for Pan labeled him as, quote, social entre entrepreneur, musician, and inspirational speaker. <laughs> Confirmed he graduated from university in 1999. Pan's LinkedIn profile also listed previous st stints as senior associate at McKinsey and Company, marketing director for PepsiCo China, and program manager for Facebook. The speaker's latest work involves his own company, My Intent, which crafts braided bracelets with custom messages on them. Pan announced toward the end of his speech, he would give away a bracelet to every attendee in the stadium. While commenters on social media were confused as to how that process would happen, the university spokesperson clarified that instructions were coming Monday. How the fuck did this guy... Uh, here, uh, Johnson also shared the university selection process for its commencement speakers. A panel of Ohio State students, faculty, and staff reviews nominations for speakers like Pan. The panel then recommends options based on criteria, including the candidate's public speaking skills, message relevance, name recognition, and core values consistent with those of the university. The only okay, thing... Was, go ahead. I was going... The reason I, I've been so flabbergasted and so quiet during this yeah. whole thing, because my brain has been trying to yeah. process... Uh -huh. The steps here and, yeah. and everything along the way. And my big question was, why did they pick this person initially to do the commencement speech? So like, so like, this is what I wanted to know, but now it just makes it even more confusing because. Well, well, there's two options. Skills, maybe message relevance. Name recognition. Who is this person? And core values consistent with those of the university. So if they're not commenting on the Bitcoin thing, then they probably approve of the Bitcoin thing. There are three options here. One, they're very bad at their job. Two, yeah. two one of the students on the panel trolled everybody else and they're very bad at their job. Or three, every other nominee was somehow worse. Also a possibility, but it feels like I'm just, I'm just My, stuff like the bee, it, you know, you know, just like that's nature. It happens. You know, dr you know, drunken guy kicks a bison. I get that because he's drunk. He doesn't know what he's doing. There were, there's, there's steps to this process. There's, there's layers to, to prevent something like this from happening like so so what? every step along the way people were all like yeah this is fine like when, when did this take place uh this was may, may 6 huh oh it was, it was yeah i had to be had to be relatively recent because they mentioned the pandemic sunday. And, it was and, sunday yeah it was yeah. so um wait you know what else happened sunday kendrick lamar and drake 
What do you want to say? What do you want to bet that Drake was the first uh, was the first one and had to back out because of the dis war? And this was all they had on deck. Like at the last fucking minute. Jesus. Oh, the kids are going to love us. We got that, that, that rap singer person. They love the, the, that the youth enjoy. What do you mean? What, what, what's a diss track? What? I I don't, I don't understand. Why isn't he coming? What's happening? I don't listen to popular music. I'm a YouTuber. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, me. Oh my. Oh me. So, Some, so these somewhere are Todd's doomed. ears are burning. <laughs> so these students, so these students are doomed, right? The, yeah, if, there's, if, there's... If the best that they actually you know what? No, the kids are all right. The kids are all right because they booted his speech. Yeah, they they're like, what is this? What the hell? Sixty they put his ass up there in front of sixty thousand people. Mind you, their diplomas are probably worthless now. If yeah. this is, if this is quality from from OSU. No, oh, but we've got even more this week. Um, oh, goody. I guess you could put this under the heading of bless me, father, for I have sinned. Uh, no, wait. Bl- bless the father, for he has sinned. Priests allegedly spent $40,000 on Candy Crush using church's credit card. Catholic priest in Pottstown, Pennsylvania, allegedly used a church credit card to spend over $40,000 thousand dollars on power-ups in mobile games mario kart tour and candy crush over a three-year span supported by the philadelphia inquirer reverend lawrence kozak 51 years old was charged with theft and other related crimes according to an affidavit a probable cause for his arrest it's been since released after posting the two hundred fifty thousand dollars bail According to investigator, a counter working at Kozak's church discovered an astronomical amount of Apple transactions on the church credit card. Purchases reportedly began in September 2019, shortly after Reverend Kozak joined the parish. Allegedly, the Apple ID had purchased content in mobile games like Can- Candy Crush and Mario Kart Tour. Detectives also discovered that an Amazon account connected to the priest had used church funds to purchase items like a fire tablet for Kozak's goddaughter. The gifts included a note that was signed by Uncle Larry. Other records showed that Kozak had at one point used his personal bank account to pay off ten thousand of the church's credit card bill. <laughs> I just like you know I feel I feel bad about this because video game addiction is real. Like like I get look look man I get it I'm obsessed with playing Poke Rogue right now. Mm-hmm. But like, the money's not yours. It's not. You can't take the church's money. I'm I I'm in a lot of debt right now too, man. But but I didn't spend it all on a video game. Video I know game. video game addiction's a real thing. This yeah. is what this is what these gotcha games. This is what these kind of games do. They're designed to 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 get you addicted. But man, you would but on Candy Crush. But you're also spending it on Amazon gifts and stuff, too. You know that ain't right. You know that ain't right. It's the church's money. It's not yours. I'm glad that I'm glad that he was removed from his position at the very least. Like, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta imagine that whoever's in, like, in charge of the diocese is like, oh shit, a, tr- a priest's in trouble. Oh crap. Call PR, call the news. Uh, 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 we're gonna have to have to talk oh, to the news God, station. It's just gaming addiction. Is it what candy? What, what's a candy crush? Like, what? Oh, thank God. Oh, thank God. Oh, oh thank, thank God. God. It was just gaming addiction. Woo. Oh, thank God. Can you handle this? <sighs> I'm like, I, 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 I appreciate he tried to pay it back, sure, but that's still embezzling. You get yeah. how that's still embezzling, man. Just like. I don't think, like if I don't think you can bring this one away. Someone uh, made a recent example of like if you go to, uh, if you steal, if you embezzle some funds from your company and then go gamble, and then pay those funds back out of out of your winnings, you're still in trouble. Yeah, it's still illegal. You're you're still illegal. You're still trouble. Still illegal. It's still embezzlement, even if you pay it back. 
Mm. Motherfucker. <sighs> I, I just, just the fuck. I hope the man gets help because 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 I because I, I get how video game addiction okay, can, but... can, can destroy you because like clearly this man destroyed his own life with this. Okay, but maybe like you know a good game. Yeah, you know they're saying like like that's my thing. Like you found on Candy Crush and Mario Kart Tour. Like, Come on, man. Like even, even like not Diablo Immortal. Okay, well maybe Diablo Immortal's a little too on the nose. Well, we maybe that's Diablo a little Immortal, too. I mean, that, that would be really confusing. <laughs> Oh, all right. Finally, this week, this is the yeah, one I message, but confusing. This is the one I showed you initially, accidentally. But yeah, finally, this week, the picture on this story is amazing. I I just I, it stopped me in my tracks when I saw it. it. It takes a bit to do that these days. Um, look at that. Young yeah. drunk driver drove with tree stuck in truck it's it's the alliteration and the rhyming yeah. which again are just like this this is this is a tongue twister young drunk driver drove with tree stuck in truck <laughs> young drunk driver drove with tree stuck in truck dang yeah i love it <laughs> the human torch was denied a bank loan an 18 year old driver woke up to a rude surprise monday morning not only was he passed out behind the wheel with a tree smashed into the front of his truck but Ingram County Sheriff's deputies were there to investigate. According to the sheriff's office, the unnamed 18-year-old man from Springsport was arrested for driving while intoxicated. Shortly before this, a driver in a different vehicle near I-96 called law enforcement about a truck at a gas station with a large tree stuck in the front and a man passed out inside. I'm sorry, you don't understand. There's this bison who was looking at me mean. <laughs> deputies... I gotta take him down. He kicked me. Deputies took the driver to hospital for treatment. They said they would seek operating uh, while intoxicated charges to get the man. The sheriff's office did not know, indicate if it knew where the person had hit the tree, how long he had driven like this, or if anyone else was injured. Just the fuck. That is just. All right. For one thing, that truck is fucked. That is. I have never seen a more totaled vehicle in my entire life. Yep. That thing is done. That that tree is that that tree is retired. That tree is yes retired, but so is the truck. I, I love that there's two guys there just looking at it like how the, I gotta blow this up so people can see it bigger. All right, we gotta make enhance enhance. Come on, let's chat. That's great. Damn, Suda Wudo ain't blocking my way no more. <laughs> just. I can only imagine you're working at it's it's the gas station. It's it's two a.m. It's late. You're waiting to get off. Switch shifts. And you hear this clunkety, 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 clunkety. And you look out the window and a tree drives up. <laughs> oh, man, I'm just driving to this forest tonight. I really can't. The trees are everywhere tonight. <laughs> it just jumped out in front of me. <laughs> The wipers aren't doing anything. <laughs> How in the, because I can only just imagine he's going down the highway. Like, could you just, the double takes, the double takes seeing that in the other lane, just like. <laughs> doing the Jim Carrey and Ace Ventura thing where he's just hanging his head out the window and driving. <laughs> It follows okay. uh quasi temporal on the channel. Uh, quasi temporal on the channel says it followed me home. Can I keep it? <laughs> oh my god. Oh no, um Danny Phantom says, having worked at a gas station for three years, personally, I wouldn't be faced. <laughs> like a, I'm pretty yeah, okay. A tree is probably the least of the shit you've seen. <laughs> Oh, the officers come up to, just come up to him. So, so, uh, so, uh, so while you were drunk, you hit this tree. What? No, that's always been there. <laughs> oh yeah. I had that there for a long time. That, kid, that game with the truck. <laughs> yeah. That, they, 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 I, I, my dad planted that one back when I, back in uh, Oh two. Yeah. <laughs> See, I've, I've got this great idea for a new kind of air freshener. <laughs> 
You know, some people like truck nuts. Well, I like truck tree. I, is, <laughs> I, 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 it, it's, it boggles the mind. Also, I do have to say it's a great, is that a Ford? It's a great advertisement for Ford because it takes a lick and it keeps going. Ford built Ford tough. Built Ford tough. Yeah. It's the tree. Oh, See, fuck. I have this great idea for a decoration of my tree for Arbor Day. <laughs> My God, insurance does not cover that. I, 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 I would love to he be on the a, a fly on the wall when he tries to click to process this claim. Oh, like a rock, yeah, kind of like a rock. It's a literal Nissan Leaf. Oh, hey, oh, uh, that's a Chevrolet. Oh, it's a Chevrolet. Oh, it's a Chevy. See, I don't know cars. I'm a YouTuber. I know cars. <laughs> I hit a tree with my Chevy van, and that's all right with me. See, I'm going to use that. That's a great excuse. I, I, I don't know this. I'm a YouTuber. I'm just going to use that from now on. That's my excuse for everything. All right. So what do we learn this week? We've learned... um. There are degrees of drunk driving. There is weaving down the highway, and then there's you've taken part of Sherwood with you home somehow. Corollary to that, there are degrees of drunken behavior, which are, yep. which, which, which are dangerous, like attacking wild animals. Do not taunt the fuzzy cow. Do not. We've learned that, um, well... Even if you try to pay it back, bilking the church for 40 grand for Candy Crush and Mario Kart, not getting out of it that easy. Not getting out of it. We've learned easy. if you're going to embezzle, at least embezzle for better games. <laughs> We've learned that, well, you don't feel bad. The bar for being a speaker at a, at a college commencement is incredibly low. Don't let your dreams be dreams. Um, we learned it is possible for a human being to swallow a cell phone and live that way for 20 days. That's actual science now. Just We didn't we need that, to know that, we, but we do now. We learned that phones make terrible antacids. <laughs> Uh, and finally, of course, we've learned that if your child says there's a monster in her closet, sure, maybe they're having problems, or maybe it's bees! A deadly bee closet. <laughs> bees, my God. That kid's going to be dining out on that one for the rest of her life, I promise you. That, that is, that, that's a conversation starter. <laughs> 